Good morning, statesmen. Today's a B-Day. Matilda Tilly Blackbear, a women's health and safety advocate, a victim herself of domestic ab abuse and considered by many to be the mother and grandmother of the battered Native women's movement. She is credited with being the first to bring national attention to the issue of abuse committed against American Indian women when she testified before the U.S. Commission on Civil Rights hearing on battered women in 1978. She founded the first battered women's shelter in the lower 48 states, the White Buffalo Calf Woman Society on the Rosebud Reservation in South Dakota, and the National Indigenous Women's Resource Center. Her advocacy for protecting Native women from abuse led to many positive results, such as including tribes in the Violence Against Women Act. Among the honors she received for her work was the Eleanor Roosevelt Human Rights Award by President Clinton in 2000. Seniors, submit your senior scholarship form. It's due Monday, April 1st. All seniors are required to submit post-secondary plans and scholarships online. Scholarship forms are available here, and even if you have not received any awards, you are still required to submit the form. You may submit multiple forms prior to the deadline. Hard copies of the form are available from Mrs. Erb, only if you do not have online access. Uh, new Chelsea Center film opportunity. Brian Hanlon, a local filmmaker and founder of the company Route 3 Films, will be coming during academic networking to discuss filmmaking and answer questions. It's during academic networking on March 25th in the Chelsea Center. Do not wait until progress reports to receive tutoring. Sign up today. Scan the QR code to sign up. If you have any questions, come by the Instructional Tutor Office located in the library. Dungeons and Dragons Club is moving to a new day. Meetings are now held on Friday after school in room 385. No experience or supplies necessary. Election judge job slash volunteer opportunity. Uh, looks great on a college application, by the way. St. Louis County is looking for students 15 and older to, to participate as student election judges. You complete brief virtual training and work 5 a.m. to 8 p.m. on Tuesday, April 2nd. It pays $170 or 16 service hours, 15-year-olds only eligible for service hours. For more information or to register, scan the QR code. Students 18 plus can participate as full election judges and earn $250. DECA presents the 23rd annual Jim Shamel Run for ALS. It's May 4th, 2024. The run begins at 7.30 a.m. It starts at Bradford Avenue um, it's a Star Wars theme. They're looking for volunteers, so scan the QR code. Clubs and teams meeting a day. We got Chess Club, Film Club, GSA, and Webster Tackles Cancer. Tomorrow morning is APIDA, Best Buddies, and T Club, and start. The wrestling team is holding spring open mats. Uh, Monday is 5.30 to 7 for everyone interested in wrestling, and Wednesdays is 5.30 to 7 for those interested in joining the women's squad. For more info, contact Coach LeMay. All right, home games meeting today. We got varsity tennis. Tomorrow we got boys golf, boys varsity tennis, boys JV baseball, girls varsity soccer, and boys volleyball. That's all. Have a great day, statesman.